No, I'm okay. Thank you. Do you have a um like a schedule for the meetings for the town for the village meetings? They're on our website. Um, can you print it for me or can I have it physically, please? That will mean a lot to me. Thank you. Do you know where those meetings take place? Yes, no. Oh, they don't take place in person? Do you know when that'll change? It's up to the governor. The governor of New yes. York? Yes. Okay. She suspended the open meetings law requirements for in person while COVID's going on. It's a month by month decision. So, oh, month by month. Okay, because yeah. I know some places they, they do it in some person. Some places it's up to the municipalities to decide. Right. How is it done via Zoom right now? Okay. The mayor made, makes that decision? The board. Trustees. The board of trustees, okay. And I would go on the village of Cold Spring to see that, to yep. see the trustees. How would I speak with the trustees, like individual or altogether? You could email them. They do, they do not have individual phone numbers to the office. They don't have individual offices? No, they're part-time elected officials. So their email addresses are on the website. So and they don't have, them. so they don't have offices in the in the building? No. Oh. The mayor does, but the trustees don't. Okay, so they do they come and do business here or they do all their business from home? Um, they do their business via the board of trustee meetings. Okay. okay. How far out do you want the calendar printed? As far as you can. I guess, do you guys have it for the whole year or is it like a repetitive schedule? Yeah. Okay. And the 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 citizenry are allowed to come in and record these meetings, right? Or like record it from Zoom? The meetings are, whether they're in person or via Zoom, we record them. There's a village YouTube page where all the recordings okay. are. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. No. Can you I'm... tell me what you're doing? Just because I, I don't I don't understand why you're videotaping a village hall. You're perfect it's a public building. You're perfectly allowed to. I just want to understand what's going on. Um the the owners of the building sent me. We are the owners of the building. We? The village owns the building. Right. The owner sent me. The people. Okay. So is there something that you need? I just don't understand why you're running a camera. <laughs> I Can just, we help you with something? I'm being helped. I know that you're part of an auditing group. I'm being helped. Okay. I'm not part of a group. I work independently. Okay, I would just, 
you're you're welcome. I would like you to ask my permission before you videotape me. And I'm sitting in a private meeting, and you don't have consent from me or the person I'm meeting with. That's that's not okay. Do you you do know that there's no expectation of privacy in public, right? As the mayor, you should know that. I think you should give me a courtesy of saying I would like to. You don't. You don't have, certainly don't have to ask exactly. me, but I think as a decent human being, you would ask me first. So can I have your permission? Right now we're having a, con this is one of the former mayors. We're having a conversation. He's telling me some history. I don't give you permission to sit and record. It's not a public meeting. Um, I'm not in, I'm not in that office. Okay. I'm in the public. So are you asking me if you can videotape me? That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm saying no. I'm in the public area recording whatever I can see from public. Hiding, you're holding your camera up to the window. So, so I have a right to ask you. You can ask me whatever right, you want. And you just told me. So now I understand so, what you're doing and we're good. But the way, I'm telling the way you the I'm the law, go there and shut the door. You can do that. And that's how you create privacy in public. But the way the law works is that whatever I can see from public, I can record. So I'm standing in the public area. You can record as you wish. I wanted to ask you what you were doing. I'm recording. So Thank you so this is, much. This is, this is through Jane. Um, just let you know, this, this gentleman mm -hmm. does go around to various municipalities and village halls, videotapes, I go to, his interactions with people, the postings, mm -hmm. and whatnot. She knows, I don't, I don't she knows I'm an order. Yeah, I don't mind you doing that. Mm -hmm. But what's hard is when you come in and you don't identify yourself, and I don't know what, I don't know what, you have a right to do it, but I also have a right to ask you. You can ask and me. If you're, and if you're not doing anything confrontational, just tell me. So you're not doing anything confrontational. Not we at all. Each I haven't now. been. Okay? So uh, that's what I, I was just trying to educate you that whatever the citizens could see from public, we could record. Absolutely. So that's I know you're in private. And saying, I'm here, a citizen, recording for this reason. You don't have to tell me that, but as a courtesy. When you asked me, I told you. you the, pe the people sent me. I work for the people. So, so the reason why I record, people? the reason why I record, right? is for transparency between the government and the people to bridge the gap to check up on our workers check up on our mayors well, see what's what, going on I am so and for accountability happy. as well absolutely transparent here and i appreciate I, that are, i appreciated you, you from here. from the beginning you you're was extremely here. cordial if in the follow-up of the information you've requested mm -hmm. if there's anything you're unclear about or anything you'd like information on i would love to sit right? down and have a meeting with you about like going forward how you can educate your the employees our employees mm -hmm. moving forward how to treat the public if they come in exercising their rights and right. to not so try what to I'm take just is that you come on wednesday so we have a public meeting on zoom every wednesday and you can see how i as mayor mm -hmm. and my colleagues as trustees interact with the public okay. there's no secrets here you're welcome to join our meeting please at the public so public comment session at the end please give us any well, feedback you'd like on does, Wednesday in particular, we're talking about Dockside Park. You can come learn about that public project being funded with public money for the benefit of the public. Okay. Okay. Are the people allowed to voice their concerns in Absolutely. those meetings? We, my, our agenda on every agenda has an item. At the I was end hoping to, to meet with you personally. On the it can be, but I'm also letting you know note. that you can see how I interact okay. with the public to whom I am accountable in the village. That'll be good. Okay. I would like that. I'll, I'll check in with you on Wednesday. Yeah. That's great. Um, Seven o'clock. I was just the Zoom link is on our website. To answer your question, I was just recording whatever I could see in the hallway. I know you was in me. I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm you just, did. You I'm did. just recording. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Tell me your name one more time, please. Um, Guy. Guy, what's your last name? Freeman. And what's the agency that you represent? Me? Yeah. You want to know what's my agency? Yeah. Who are you representing? What's the organization you're myself. making foils for and you're recording for? Um, Good Guy Audits. Good, and, okay. You can Good check me audits. out on YouTube. Oh, I will. Make sure you like my videos, okay? Okay, see you right. later, guy. God bless you, man. And you, sir. How are you? Good, guys. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You done? Um, is there a time in the No. Well, is your business done here? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Is there a time limit that the citizens have? No. To be in the village no. hall? No. Okay. What's your name and badge number, please? You know about the right to know law? Oh, here it is. You, can you tell me? Yeah, it's right here. Can you read? What if I was illiterate and I couldn't read? Listen, let's go. If your business is done here, you have to leave. Okay? If your business is done here, you have to leave.
got, I'm just, before I leave, I'm gathering some public information, yeah, if that's okay. Yeah, you still didn't identify yourself to me, though. Would you like to do that? I just did. No, you just. My identification is right here. I'm out almost gone. That's my identification. Can you verbalize it? No. So we're going to show this officer this, see how he feels about it. Hey, so I wanted to show you something. Will you be willing to look at it? So this is the Right to Know Act. Mm -hmm. It's the law mm -hmm. on police conduct and identifying yourself. Do you have a business card? No. So it says that. Four facts to know. I'm from the city, I guess, right? This is state. This is state. This is state. This is through New York State. You're a New York State police officer, right? All right. Village. So it says that we have the right to ask for a business card that you should. I don't have one. So, four facts to know about the right to know. Identify themselves by providing their name and other information like your rank, command, and shield number. Um, offer a business card with the officer's information that explains how to comment or complain about interaction. Oh, NYPD. It does say NYPD. Yeah. That's a good. So you guys don't fall under the same? Oh, so you that's guys. In, that's within the city limits. So it's not your, um, let me just put this away. So it's not your policy to identify yourself at all? I, like verbally? No, this is my identification. I should have been on the what I'm saying is like, I'm just, no, I'm just closing up. So okay, no problem. No, I'm trying not to block. Get up the way. You don't want a white picture. I got a record. How you doing, buddy? God bless right, you, Mr. Phillips. So you don't have to verbalize it? Like, in case I was illiterate. Let's say I was illiterate. Right? You wouldn't want to tell me? See you soon. Thank you. All right. Let me go. You're not related to Dan, are you? No, I wish. <laughs> Take care. God bless you. Right. Mayor, you need help crossing the street? No, I'm all right. There's some ice there. Be careful. He's a tough cookie. I try to offer to help him cross the street. <laughs> 